So what'd you figure out? Nothing, absolutely nothing. I think she asked more questions than I did. Oh, and she wishes you luck to find your baseball card collection. I never told her about my cards. Did you? No, she brought it up. Does anyone here know about your baseball card collection? Only Sherman. Who's Sherman? He's my best friend. He's in my grade. I told him earlier that I was going to go trade in my collection when the door's unlocked tomorrow. Huh, I think we might have to add little Sherman to our suspect list. But he doesn't have a motive. Does, he has, everyone has a motive. I have a motive. You have a motive? Yeah, it just so happens I adore eggplant fish colored backpacks. It's a color. I don't know what's more frightening. That my detective could be the thief? Or that my detective knows what the color eggplant fish is? Of course I do, all best detectives do. Really? Yes, but we're getting off track. The point is, everybody can have a motive, and Sherman has the simplest motive off. Greed. He wouldn't do that, though. I trust him. People do crazy things for money. And there's our lunatic now. Wait. What are you doing, Doyle? Johnny, keep up. The game's afoot. What does that even mean? You're a suspect in criminal incident investigation for God. What? Come on! Okay, look, I didn't kill anyone. Well, right. we'll see about that. Who's dead? Oh, no one. That was just an over-exaggeration. Uh, you don't mind, do you? Johnny, what's going on? Hey, I'll ask you questions here! It's just... Somebody stole my backpack, and with it, the baseball card collection. Doyle here is my detective. Doyle? I was just wondering if you know anything. Don't be so naive. He's not going to talk that easy. Huh, I'm sorry, Johnny. I'm so sorry. I, should, I shouldn't have done it. Wait, wait, what do you mean you're sorry? Did you steal my backpack? No, of course not. Then why are you sorry? Well, I was just talking to Lady Mail the other day about what we were going to do over the weekend, and it just sort of slipped out that you were going with your dad to the baseball card collector store after the lock in to turn in your baseball card collection for $3,000, and that your baseball card collection was in your backpack here at the lock in. All that just slipped out? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's just great. Really? Yeah, it's real swell. Oh, hey, don't listen to him, Sherman. Hey. Sherman doesn't understand sarcasm. Well, that's a shame. I know, really. Wait, was that sarcastic? I like you, kid. See ya, Sherman. I'm so yeah. confused. Well, it's just like the old phrase says. If worms had guns, birds wouldn't mess with them. Wait, 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 Doyle. You're making no Johnny? sense. Stop, just for a minute. Johnny! Mrs. Is this Red? Yeah, is this your backpack? I found it over by the coat rack. Yeah. Well, you know, you really should put it in the luggage room where we told you, because someone could steal that. <laughs> yeah. What, wouldn't that be crazy? Well, I just wanted to tell you, and then come on, because we're having a lot of fun in the gym, and lock-in's almost over, all right? So okay. put it away, and then let's go. OK, I'll be there. All right. It's a good thing Mrs. Red found a backpack before anyone could steal it. Yeah. Wait, hold on. What? Hey, what are you doing? I knew it. What? Your cards aren't in there. What? The game's still a book, my friend. Someone is at large in the state of Denmark. Oh, hold on, hold on. Get back here. Sit. Dude, you gotta calm down for like five seconds or something. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Fine. So, what do we know? Well, we know that your backpack was definitely not just misplaced, because there's only one specific item that is missing. We know that that specific item, the baseball card collection, is now in the hands of a petty thief. We know that this petty thief must have known in advance that this baseball card collection was in your backpack. We know you are very interested in magazines. Off topic. But we do know that there are only two... I thought you were, like, a, like a, like a freshman. Why do you got colleges in there? Put that back. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We know 
that there's only two people that knew about the card collection that were that Matt are at this locket. And Sherman. Exactly. And we know that Sherman does not understand soft. Hey, is that wait? Off topic. But true. Continue. We know that Josh Bellman did not know about your extensive car collection, and therefore we're not specifically taking that item out of your backpack. Yeah. So we can safely cross him off our suspect list. That only leaves two people, Sherman and Maggie. I say it's Sherman. Why do you say that? Because I want to interrogate him again and watch him cry. That's not a valid argument. Well, I'm kind of running out of ideas here. There's a 50-50 guessing game. Use your detective mind. What does every criminal mean? Means and motive. Exactly. So let's think this through. So let's think this through. Doyle! Yeesh! Okay. Um, uh, Sherman. He's got greed. And, uh, he's gonna be in the same place you are the same night. Oh, look at this. We got Maggie. She's got greed. And she's gonna be in the same place you are the same night. But you're forgetting that Maggie hates me and Sherman doesn't. Greed overrules all emotions. But Sherman is my best friend, and he would never do anything to hurt me. You saw how he was practically hysterical. If he had stolen my backpack, he would have fessed up right then and there. Besides, we were interrogating him. He would have never been able to plan the backpack for Mrs. Red to find. So you think it's Maggie? Duh! She hates my guts and wanted revenge. She found out from Sherman that I had something valuable in my backpack and took it from the luggage room when nobody was around. After you interrogated her, she decided to take the card collection for herself and plant the backpack for Mrs. Red to find on her way back to the teacher's lounge. Her hope was that we wouldn't look into the backpack until after the doors had unlocked in the morning and therefore wouldn't know that the card collection was gone. It all fits together. Wow. I told you, she's insane. Let's go. Oh, but I want to see Sherman cry. Doyle. Oh, fine. Hey, that's Maggie with my collection. Hey. Oh, she's gonna get away. No, she's not. Uh, this is the fun part. What are you doing? Psycho chick. But I'm a crazy psycho chick with three thousand dollars and the ultimate revenge. Goodbye, Doyle. No, no, no! Yes, actually. You caught her? It would seem so. Where'd you get the handcuffs? All good detectives have handcuffs. Are you a good detective? The best.